सो स्टूडेंट हियर इज क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन अ पार्टिकल मूव्स इन एक्स वाई प्लेन अकॉर्डिंग टू द इक्वेशन एक्स इक्वल्स साइन ट्वेंटी पाई टी एंड वाई इक्वल्स टू कॉस ट्वेंटी पाई टी द पार्टिकल फॉलोज वॉट पाथ वेयर एक्स वाई आर द पोजिशन कॉर्डिनेट्स एंड टी इज टाइम नाउ अकॉर्डिंग टू क्वेश्चन इट इज गिवेन एक्स इक्वल्स साइन ट्वेंटी पाई टी ऑन द अदर हैंड वाई इक्वल्स टू कॉस ट्वेंटी पाई टी वी कैन राइट वाई बाई टू एज कॉस ट्वेंटी पाई टी नाउ सपोज दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर वन एंड दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर टू स्क्वायरिंग एंड एडिंग इक्वेशन वन एंड टू वॉट वी विल गेट x square plus y square by 4 on the left hand side equals sin square theta plus cos square theta gets you always 1 we can further write it x square upon 1 square plus y square upon 2 square equals 1 and this is the standard equation of ellipse so we can say that the trajectory of the particle the path of the particle is what ellipse so we will go with option number 1 now let us proceed to the next question that is question number 12 here is question number 12 everyone if the vector 2i plus 4j minus 2k is perpendicular to the vector 8i minus 3j plus beta k cap then what will be the value of beta square plus beta plus 1 in order to find this value we have to find out beta first now since they are perpendicular vector a dot vector b will be zero let us calculate the dot product i coefficient of two vectors will be multiplied 2 8 just 16 j coefficient multiplied k coefficient multiplied 4 into minus 3 that is minus 12 minus 2 into beta that is minus 2 beta equals 0 After solving for this, we will get minus two beta equals minus of four beta equals two. Now putting this value of beta in the equation, what we have to find out? B square beta square plus beta plus one will be two square plus two plus one. That is seven. So seven will be our answer. Means option number three is absolutely correct. Now let us proceed to the next question. That is question number thirteen. So here is question number thirteen, everyone. The position time graph of the particle having mass four kg moving along x-axis is shown in figure. Then impulse on the particle at time t equals three second will be what? So this is the time t at three second, where we have to calculate impulse. We know very well that impulse is what change in momentum so anyhow if you are able to calculate the change in momentum then that will be the impulse before 3 second the particle was moving in a particular direction that is x direction its speed is positive because slope is positive after 3 second the direction of motion of particle is reversed because the slope is negative now we can say that before t equals 3 second speed of particle will be what slope of position time graph gives speed so v1 will be perpendicular upon base that is 10 by 1 10 meter per second on the other hand just after t second just after 3 second speed is v2 which will have negative slope it means its direction is reverse so v2 will be minus of slope is so 25 meter per second now we can calculate the change in momentum delta p is what mv2 minus mv1 that is minus of 4 into 25 minus of 4 into 10 that is minus 140 newton second that will be change in momentum which is also impulse 
Now after looking at the option, we can say that option number 2 is absolutely correct. So we will go with option number 2 only. Now let us proceed to the next question. That is question number 14. So student, here is question number 14. The coefficient of friction for both blocks with ground is 0 0.4. The normal reaction by wall shown in figure will be what? Taking G as 10 meter per second square. Now, let us taking this both block as a single system. Now, the forces acting on the block will be what? Let us draw the free body diagram of the system. Masses are M1 plus M2. 100 Newton force is acting in right direction. Here is the wall which will exert a normal reaction N which we have to find out. Both are in contact with the ground. Therefore, a reaction from the ground will also act. So, now, under the influence of these forces, the block is not able to move. So, acceleration will be 0. Now, let us apply the Newton second law. The surface is also rough, so this is applied force. It means a friction force will also act in this direction that is Fs. So the net force will be what? Mass into acceleration which is 0. 100 minus N minus Fs will be 0. Therefore, N will be 100 minus friction force. 100 minus friction force is mu m g where m is the total mass of system 100 minus 0 0.4 multiplied by mass is 20 gravity is 10 and after solving we will get the value of reaction provided by the wall will be 100 minus 80 that is 20 newton and we can say that Option number 3 is absolutely correct. So we will go with option number 3 only. Now let us proceed to the next question. That is question number 15. So here is question number 15 everyone. A car of mass 1000 kg moves with constant speed V on a circular path of radius small r shown in figure. The average force on car during the motion from A to B will be what given that all quantities are in SI system. Now we know that the average force acting on any block or any particle will be what it's a change of momentum with respect to time. Now anyhow if we are able to calculate change in momentum and time taken from A to B then question will be solved. So change in momentum in order to calculate the change in momentum we have to calculate the change in velocity that is delta v. So here is initial velocity v1 and this is final velocity v2 at b. Angle between them will be using trigonometrical identities we have this is 90 this is 30. So angle between v1 and v2 is what 120 degree. We have to calculate change in velocity delta v. Delta v will be v2 minus v1. So we require minus v1 vector. So this is minus v1 vector. Angle between v2 and minus v1 will be what? 60 degree. Magnitude of delta v we can directly write under root v square plus v square plus 2 v square cos 60 degree. Cos 60 1 by 2 cancel with this 2 and we will get delta V as V under root 3. So change in momentum delta P will be what MV that is 1000 V under root 3. Now we require time. This total angle is 120 degree and a circle traces 360 degree means the time taken will be what one third of total time taken during one cycle. So T will be what or delta T will be what T by 3 which we can further write T is 2 pi R whole divided by 3 V. This is total time. Now we can calculate the average force F equals delta P that is 
थाउजेंड वी अंडर रूट थ्री होल डिवाइडेड बाई डेल्टा टी दैट इज टू पाई आर डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री वी सो टू पाई आर डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री वी गोज एट द टॉप टू फाइव हंड्रेड टाइम्स सो एफ विल बी फाइव हंड्रेड इंटू थ्री दैट इज फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड अंडर रूट थ्री वी स्क्वायर अपॉन पाई आर so this will be the final expression for average force and after looking at the option we can say that option number 1 is absolutely correct so we will go with option number 1 only now let us proceed to the next question that is question number 16